Hello everyone. I had this tape roll lying around and realized that I don't have any tape dispenser. So I thought, let's make one. In this first part I'm going to cut it up and a small disclaimer, I'm not an expert at this, I just learn as I go. Enjoy. Okay, so I'm in Fusion 360 right now. And uh, I have a basic design in mind for my tape dispenser. It's going to be made out of two pieces of 21mm oak. And uh, both parts is going to be identical but mirrored. So I'm going to glue them together. So we can begin by doing the outlines. So let's make a new component. We can call this yeah, tape. It's going to be made out of two circles really. So this is the back circle. It's going to be 85 millimeters big. And then a front circle is going to be somewhere around, let's say here. It's going to be... Let's make it 40. Okay, so now we can make the bottom part so it sits firmly on the table. I want to have this 50 millimeters. Now we can make an arc to make a nice curvature from here to here somewhere. Something like this. And we need to have another arc between here and here. Something like this. Hmm. And I think I want to have an untip a point on it. So I'm gonna have the blade somewhere around here. But I think this looks like a this looks like a nice tape dispenser. So let's extrude this out to its final thickness. Selecting all the surfaces. I'm gonna make this 21 millimeter. And the plan now is to have the tape roll on a core that's gonna be slided in from the bottom right up to the center and then gonna push forward a bit and then let it drop down into a slot where it's gonna be its final position when it's I'm using it. So let's try to make a slot. We can select this surface and then make a line from the center right down another line from the center and 10 millimeter forward and another line yeah let's make it 8 millimeter down so now we can use this line and make an offset or I thought we can use that line to make an offset why doesn't that work select all the lines and then click offset Okay, I don't know why that doesn't work. It should work. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's make this minus four millimeters. And make another offset. That's the other way around, so it's gonna be plus four millimeters. And then we just make an offset of this line gonna be four millimeters okay this is not to look very complicated but if it just had worked like I want to it would have been much easier so let's just remove the lines we don't need we don't need this one anymore and this one and this one So if anyone know why I couldn't make an offset with all the three lines at once, please tell me. I don't know why that didn't work. But anyhow, now we have a slot. So the tape to score is going to go in this slot to the center, forward and then down. So let's extrude this down. And it's going to be uh, 21 plus 4 think something like that it's pretty good and now the next step is to make the pocket in the middle so 
we can have the tape roll in it and also the pocket so it can slide in. So we should be able to do this by making a slot, a center center slot. Select this surface and then we can mark it from the center to the other center. It's going to be 10 millimeters. Should be able to get it to click snap. Okay, so it snapped. And the tape roll is a little less than 60 millimeter big, so I'm going to make this 60. It's going to be just enough room for it to fit. So now we have a nice slot for it to fit inside here. We also need a slot so it can drop down in its final position. So we are just going to make another center to center slot from this position down to this position. And also make this 60. So. And then we need to make an opening at the end so we can push it in from this part and just make it a 90 degree right down and make another so let's see this is center plus 10 plus 20 and then we make a line from here down here okay so now we can extrude all this surfaces and we should have a nice pocket oops okay so we did something wrong here let's redo this line so okay select all the surfaces just like that and then extrude it down and this is gonna be 10 millimeter deep because the tape roll is 19 millimeter thick so that's gonna be great okay now we need a little hole for tape to come out from and gonna be here somewhere I think let's just make two lines I think it's gonna be from let's say here to somewhere around hmm, here maybe and then we can extrude this down to the same height and we can I think it's gonna be it may be tricky to get the tape through here it's it's quite small opening but I don't want to have too big opening so we just have to see if it works but we can help a bit by doing a fillet and smooth out this something like that that looks pretty good and the last thing we need to do is make an make a place for the blade to go so it's just gonna be uh, 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters oops And I'm gonna make it extrude down, let's say two millimeters. So something like this. And now I can select the whole body and go to create mirror and the pattern body is selected. So I'm gonna mirror it on this surface. Okay. So, here we go. That's my tape dispenser. It looks something like this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stop the video here. I'm not totally happy with the design in the this part and this curve I think I'm gonna make it I think I'm gonna play around with it a bit but there's no point of filming it because it's gonna it's gonna be me fiddling around so 
I'm gonna be back when I have the finished design. Okay, so I'm back. I changed some of the parts. I make, made this a little bit smaller. I changed some of the curves. Nothing major, still looks pretty much the same. It still looks like a snail to me. Uh, I also added the blade in front. I changed it up a bit. I make it. I made it a little bit smaller, so it's not going from end to end now. It's in the middle. Uh, what did I more do? I changed up the the hole, so now the curve is a continued all the way in. I think it's looked a little bit nicer. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I think I'm gonna stop this video right here. And in the next part, I'm, we're gonna mill it out and put it together and see if it works. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. And if you want more videos like this one, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye.